Hi everybody, it's Megan. Thanks so much for joining me today. Welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're a returning viewer or subscriber. Thank you so much everyone for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And if you are watching this on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, depending on when I get this uploaded, I wish you a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate, I at least wish that your winter or summer, whichever um, half of the hemisphere you're in. I hope that your winter or summer season is going very well. I hope that the end of the year is going well for you and that you're excited about the new year. I know I'm super excited about the new year. I have lots of plans for no buys and low buys and just project use it ups and I'm hoping to share that all with you in future videos. But today, today's video, as you can see from the title, is indeed a haul. It's actually a collective haul. It is the Candle Day sale candle sale what is it candle day sale haul um from the beginning of december as well as the 495 body care day sale that i have i know that everybody's already uploaded these videos but i wanted to go ahead and share with you because one i think it's fun to just watch haul videos i'm very interested in seeing what other people have picked out for themselves and their thoughts on certain scents and fragrances and then also excuse my dog she's just kind of um making a little bit noise in the background and also I just um wanted to share in case you need some inspiration for things to look for for the winter SAS or semi-annual sale that Bath and Body Works is going to be starting on December 26. A lot of this stuff might be sold out or may not be available but if there are any of those things on discount this might kind of um remind you to to look for those things when the sale starts. Now, honestly, I don't know if I'm actually going to be shopping the sale because like I said, I'm, I'm planning to go on like a low buy slash no buy and just use up everything I have and nothing's really been piquing my interest, but um, I'm gonna go, go ahead and just share this haul with you here and then I'll let you know in future videos if I end up purchasing anything from SAS. All right, so let's start with Candle Day. At Candle Day, I ended up getting six candles. I got four at one location um, plus I bought a pocket back and so that was able to get me to $40 and then with the $40 I got $10 off. So I did have that coupon available and then I went to another store and just spent, um, I think got two candles. I did get two candles from this holiday collection that has the like ornaments hanging off the side. Uh, the first one that I got is Strawberry Snowflakes. And I will go ahead and read the notes. So my apologies if you're already familiar with these. Um, this one is Juicy Strawberry Whipped Cream and Ice Bergamot. And I am super on the fence with this candle. I like the body care. I think the body care is very light and pleasant and I do enjoy it. But the candle is also very light. When I initially take the, the lid off, there's this artificial strawberry scent that comes at me that it's, to me is really unpleasant. But then just smelling the candle with the lid off it's very light and there's like a very slight like milky perfume. I don't know if that's the right way to describe it, but there's a light something that I really, really enjoy. It is very light. I am okay with light candles, light scented candles, because my husband is very sensitive to fragrances and scents. And so it's better for me if I can burn a candle while he's gone at work or on a like a day trip. And then a couple hours before he goes home, comes home, I blow out the candle open out the window, open up the windows, or at least let the house air out. Uh, so that way the scent doesn't linger. I'm fine with that. He's fine with that. And so this one would be a good candle where I could probably leave it burning a little bit longer and it may not bother him as much because it's so light. But also I'm a little bit nervous because it's so light. Like, will I even smell it? I don't know. I'm very much on the fence about, about this. Let me know your thoughts about this. This one was a $26.95 candle and I do still have the receipt. So I think with my um, store locations, I'm able to do an even exchange as long as the price is the same. I might do that with another candle or I might just return it, like just get $10 back or $8 back, whatever I paid for it with the discount. I'm on the fence with that one. Now this other one that I got was Mary Mimosa. And this one has a uh, fragrance notes of sparkling champagne, red apple slices and iced sugar crystals. This one, does have that like bubbly champagne note, which I'm sometimes not a big fan of, but sometimes I do like. I like it in this candle. I think I also like it as a candle more than body care. You can also smell the apple. And then there's a little bit of, to me, a slight perfume note. 
But overall, this is just kind of like a very light and bright, but also a little bit wintry of a, of a candle. So I thought that this was just a little bit different for a winter candle for me. Um, usually I go for the kind of heavier gourmand or like super peppermint icy uh, candles. And so I thought that this one was would be a nice kind of change up because it is different. Um, a little bit floral, but also bright. And then there's that element of the champagne and the apples. All right, another candle I got was the Crunchy English Toffee. Everybody says they like this packaging or maybe not everybody, that might be an exaggeration. I know a lot of people said they like this packaging. I'm actually not a super big fan of this. Like the words wrapped around like this. Anyway, I do really like this one. This kind of smells like a toffee chocolate candy bar. This one has notes of sweet brown sugar, crunchy toffee and dash of vanilla extract. It is light. I'm kind of anticipating that the kind of caramel toffee note will come out a little bit stronger when it burns. So I'm a little bit nervous that that might be too strong for my husband, even if I let the house air out. But I am excited about this one otherwise. I thought that that would be a really good candle um, for myself. All right, I also got Luminous, which was um, one of their body care candles. So this one has ruby currant, gilded iris, and praline amber. Now, I don't normally get body care candles because I think that they are too strong. But this one, again, is light, is pleasant. I also really love the luminous scent in body care. And I do like it in this one as well. So definitely like a more perfumey, slightly floral, um, but also sweet and pleasant candle. And I think I'll really like that one. I did get a Paris Cafe. Paris Cafe has rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla creme or cream. And this one is just a very, very strong coffee. Mm, I really, really like this one. I'm excited to burn this one as well. That'll definitely be a day when my husband's not around just because of the really the, the strength of the coffee. All right, and then the last one I got was the Caramel Frappuccino. So my store did have these out, and I honestly, I smelled all of them, and sometimes I don't know if it's because it's in store or just my nose is very, like, particular, which I think is also part of it, but I didn't really like any of them. Um, the pink, the hot pink cocoa or pink hot cocoa, I... Like, I thought that one was one of the worst. Um, no, the, the white macadamia one, I really didn't like. Like, that one was like, I opened it and I was like, nope, not for me at all. I don't know if it was the nut combination with something else, the white chocolate, but I really, really didn't like that one. And then the, the, the pink cocoa one, I also didn't like as well. I thought it was too, um, it was too sweet, basically. But this one, caramel frappuccino. So rich, cold, rich, cold, I can't, I can't read words. Rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. Um, it definitely t smells like a caramel frappuccino. Like that's exactly what it smells like with the extra caramel drizzle. So sweet, sickeningly sweet, but to me in kind of like a good coffee sort of way. So I did go ahead and pick this one up. The, um, the one that had the bread note in it, I can't remember the name of it. I was on the fence about getting that one. And then I was like, well, in total, that would bring me up to seven and I really, really wanted to try and stick to the six. So that's what ended up happening. Um, and now that I remember, cause I was, I was remembering like, why did I split it up into two, um, two different like purchases? The first one was on a Friday where I got the four, for four, uh, the four candles, um, and then used the 10 off 40 coupon. And then Saturday I went in to look at these candles cause that was the brunch, the brunch collection came out then. So that's what I ended up getting. Um, now, like I said, I did have a pocket bag, which I can't find. Oh, here it is. And the pocket bag was in the luminance scent. Um, this was just to reach that over $40 mark. So then the $10 off coupon would register. And then I also ended up getting one of these wallflowers. This one was um, part of, I think I had a reward for like one free, 
like $16.95 item and this one is $16.95 so I went ahead and I was able to get this for free as my free reward. So that's what I got during the candle day or weekend sale. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the $4.95 body care day sale stuff that I bought. I originally went online and purchased an order online and had it shipped to me because I I think last essay, winter SAS, I had gotten a Forever Red body lotion, but I didn't have any fragrance mist or shower gel, and I didn't really have anything else in my collection that I felt like I could pair with it especially since it was a lotion and lotions tend to linger and I didn't really have a fragrance mist to go along with it. So online Forever Red was available, but it was online only. So I went ahead and placed an order. Here it is. Now, um, one thing I do want to know is that I got this this week. So I'm filming this on December 24th and I think I got this the 21st or 22nd and I purchased this, I think that first night, maybe the second day of the body care day sale. So for me, it's not a big deal because these were not gifts for anybody, but I can totally see how this would be maybe frustrating and um, stressful for someone who was planning to give these as gifts, especially if they were planning to see people earlier in the year, uh, like earlier in December, that these wouldn't have arrived on time. I totally get it. Body care day sale is like a huge thing. Like it's, you get a lot of people buying things, but it just seemed like it took such a long time for it to process. Once it processed and they told me that they had shipped the item, it came super quick, but the processing time took a really long time. Again, I get why, it's just something I wanted to bring up. So I did go ahead and get Forever Red, and you can kind of see here the packaging is a little bit scratched up. Product works fine, and I'm not sure if that's from shipping or if that was from the warehouse. Again, not a big deal for me because it's not a gift, but if this had been a gift, I would have been a little bit like, Again, upset about that. So Forever Red has fragrance notes of fiery pomegranate, red peony, and rich vanilla rum. Oh, and oak wood. And it's just like a very light, slightly fruity floral scent that I like. And then I went ahead and got the shower gel for that one as well. The only other fragrance mist I got was Snowflakes and Cashmere. And I love this year's packaging. Now, I had gotten Snowflakes and Cashmere last year. Snowflakes and Cashmere has fragrance notes of vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. I had gotten this last year, and I can barely smell it. And I was wondering, because everybody that I watch for Bath & Body Works, like, a lot of people have talked about how much they really like this scent, and so I was like, what am I missing? Did I get a bad batch? Is it just my nose? Which I'm starting to think it might be, because I still, like, this is definitely stronger than last year's, I think, but it's still super light. So I think the kind of what I'm coming to realize is that this is a little bit more of a personal or a skin scent where it's super, really, super, super light um, fragrance on the body. And for me, you know, I, I'm kind of on the fence. This was only $5. I could get $5 back, but also I really like this packaging. So I don't know if I want to keep this or not, but that's my conundrum right now. So let me know, what would you do with strawberry snowflakes um, candle and this snowflakes and cashmere body mist? I really love the packaging on it, but I'm like, eh, kind of like whatever about the scent. And I do have last year's um, version of it. Okay, I have one more. Um, everything else is kind of a finishing up, completing sets. So I think back in November, they had had a fragrance mist and like body lotion, body cream sale, like $5.95 sale. And I had gotten a bunch of fragrance mist and body creams then. So this was really for me to finish the sets out with um, shower gels. Poppy has notes of fresh morning dew, wild poppies, sugared rhubarb, and juicy pear. And I did get the shower gel and the body lotion for that to complete the set because um, I got that fragrance mist during the summer SAS. And then um, I got everything else is a shower gel. So I got Luminous, red, uh, Ruby, Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. I also got Dahlia, which doesn't have fragrance notes, but I'll go ahead and leave that up there on the screen for you. And then I also got Dark Kiss, which also doesn't have fragrance notes, but I'll have that up on screen for you. And then finally, I got the shower gel for strawberry snowflakes. Again, juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and ice bergamot because I had that in the fragrance mist as well. 
So that's it from the online order. So then after the online order, I did decide to go in store and I did pick up a few items because I had heard um, like I had heard people talking about Lovely Dreamer and I hadn't smelled it originally when I had gone in store uh, to preview things. So I was like, well, let me go in and let me see. So I did end up getting Lovely Dreamer. This one has fragrance notes of fluffy musk, clean woods, white Irish and fresh bergamot. So this one, cause I just sprayed it, is very, very light. It's another kind of skin like scent to me, very, very light on the skin. And to me, it reminds me of Cozy Evening. It's not Cozy Evening by any means, but it does remind me of it, and I do like Cozy Evening. So I think that this, this will be a nice kind of anytime going to bed scent. I did also get a body butter. This one is just the Sensitive Skin uh, Colloidal Oatmeal. And there's no scent to it. It's just a kind of a body butter unscented. So I thought that this would be really good, especially during the winter months or any time I wanted to bring in like a perfume or a fragrance, but didn't want it to com compete with a lotion that I had. And then I got for my third and last item, Forever Sunshine. And I'm almost positive this was not supposed to be out, especially knowing that this is coming out for SAS, for winter SAS. And when I went into the store, I saw this, a bunch of them, not just one, but a bunch of them sitting next to Lovely Dreamer. And I was like, hmm, I don't remember hearing about this with the other body care, like day sale items that came out. Like we heard about Carried Away, we heard about Lovely, Lovely Dreamer and a few other items. And I was like, I don't remember hearing about Forever Sunshine or like seeing this bright yellow packaging. So fragrance notes on this one, just by the way, is Golden Apricot, Pink Peonies, Vanilla Musk, and a Hint of Praline. So I went ahead and I smelled it. You know, I just sprayed it just a second ago. And it does have, you know, kind of a sunshiny feeling to it. It's definitely um, like, I don't, I remember the name. I remember it being kind of like a golden sunshiny scent in that kind of abstract way. So I can't remember if this is the exact same scent, but I do like it. Like it's light and nice and, and I enjoy it. So I went ahead and picked this up. Now, when I went to the register, the Body Butter and the Lovely Dreamer were $4.95. This one came up full price and I thought that it was weird at first, but the guy like didn't blink an eye and just totally repriced it at $4.95. So I think he just assumed because it was a fragrance mist that it should have been $4.95 and that the register was marking it incorrectly. So I got this for $4.95 during the Body Care Day sale a couple weeks ago and I'm pretty sure that this was not supposed to be out. So I'm kind of excited about that one. Um, and now I don't really feel like I have a reason to shop the SAS because I already have the scent that I probably would have been the most interested in. And honestly, I don't really think I need to get a body lotion or shower gel for that one because it is kind of a lighter, I don't want to say generic, but it's because it's more of a summery spring scent. I feel like I have other things that I could pair with it. All right, so that is everything that I got from Candle Day and from Body Care Days. I'd love to know your thoughts, like what you ended up doing, if you ended up purchasing a lot at the beginning of December or you're waiting until these sales after Christmas. All right, thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you down in the comments if I can, and I'll see you in the next video for sure. Bye.